is Don Wynn, uh, and this is my 2006 Spoon inspired Acura TSX. I chose the TSX because I was looking for a, I mean, at the time I was driving a Lexus GS400, I was looking for something more economy, but also I wanted something that I could get into the car seat with. And I, when I found out about the TSX, I thought it was the perfect chassis for that. Um, I, I spent about a few months looking for the right car. Eventually I found it, I found a clean one, 06, 122K miles on OfferUp in San Diego. I drove all the way down there, picked it up, and um, I went Spoon, I decided to go Spoon, Spoon slash Euro R because um, at the time my, I found out through an uncle that I had a connection to Spoon, and I was like, you know, I have to go in on this, I have to, I have to take this opportunity, and you know, I ran with it, and, this is this is the this is the product so far. I have the Spoon S-Type bumper. This is the this is the authentic Spoon bumper for the CL7 CL9 chassis. And also, I also bought the under panel, the splitter for it. It's made for the bumper. It keeps it stiffens up the bumper. I have uh, raised Gram lights, 57 CRs in a discontinued RBC color. Um, they're just, they've been discontinued since December. And I'm running, uh, they're 17 by nine plus 38s on 245-40 tires. I have new authentic Mugen window visors, uh, also discontinued Mugen door protectors, all the little details, spoon, uh, spoon side mirrors right there, the covers for that. Um, I have a, a 0405 Mugen low rise spoiler, also authentic, had to source it, discontinued. And then right here, the Euro R rear, and then I have a discontinued CL7 Spoon N1 exhaust. That's also discontinued and you can't really find it anywhere else. Um, uh, that's pretty much it so far. I have the sunroof, I have the sunroof, OEM sunroof visor, house with noises, house with cancellation noises. And then also I have, I have Spoon, um, I have retrofitted Spoon wiper blades from an S2K onto Pia blades. I have a Comtec Icebox made it up to the uh, in the K24 A2. It's one of the best performing intakes there is while keeping the subtlety of the car. I have Spoon Reservoir socks all around, a Spoon oil cap, Spoon radiator cap. I have a J-Blood X ICB Japan uh, coil pack cover. And then obviously I have a power coated black valve cover. And then um, that's that's pretty much it for the uh, the engine bay. Uh, I also have all, all one more thing before I forget the custom race headers that are four two to one race headers uh, in the back right there. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. All all reflashed all reflashed to perform to the best of its abilities. So my suspension upgrades include the ta I have Tain Flex Z coilovers. You can see the green right there. I have a Skunk Two upper camera kit. And then I have rebuilt front spindles with ARP extended studs, as you can tell. And then you can't see it, but I have hard race roll center adjusters that help uh, that help level up the geometry of the suspension and help with uh, improved handling. And then in the rear, I have SVC rear camber kits to help level out the camber in the rear. And that's pretty much it for suspension so far. So I have I actually sourced. Um, Euro R Recaro seats from the Euro R Honda Accord Euro R. I have uh, they're they're bolt on. They have they bolt straight up with the rails. I have Accord door sills from the JDM Accord right here. Pretty much a Honda conversion as possible. The Honda airbag. I also have a the Spoon rearview mirror. Uh, this is the EP3 assembly. You can't really bolt the. I had to take off the old TSX one and bolt the mirror onto the EP3 assembly. Um, Let's see, I also have, I also have the Euro R rears as well. The Euro R rear seats have also been bolted in. And that, and my, that's as pretty, that's as simple as my, as my interior can get. My future plans for the car, I have uh, stainless steel brake lines. I plan to do like the whole flush for the system. I have spoon calipers coming in. I plan to do Honda Ada Flash Pro and then uh, possibly upgrade more of the engine, like intake manifold, throttle body, VTC cam gear. And then I'll see what other, see what other uh, exterior parts there are. Maybe like a, maybe a Jay's Racing GT wing in the future. Who knows, right? Who knows what's down the line, but we'll see. Those are the main three for me so far. Go for it.
right, so I'm going to go on a ride with the Spoon TSX. Uh, a few weeks ago, I was in the Mugen one, so we're gonna see how they compare. <laughs> 